We got reduce the base damage of my little bum graph. Okay, I can barely read English, so this is this is gonna kill me. What's up guys, my name is Uncaged Games. Welcome back to another Injustice 2 video. Today, we're going to go over and do a little breakdown of the brand new September update for Injustice 2. If you guys haven't played Injustice 2 today yet, go and update your game because there is a brand new update out right now. Netherrealm just released all the patch notes for this newest update. So, we're going to go and uh, read through it, see what's up with this new update. Now, I won't read every single thing in this patch note because uh, there is a lot going on here. So, I will link... The patch notes in the description if you guys want to go and read it yourself but let's go we got the general gameplay fixes let's see general stability and online stability improvements okay that's always good to see move list correction and improvement to ai logic so i'm guessing the ais are better now move list correction i don't know uh what the problem was with the move list before but okay good thing it's fixed now whatever that is online ranked has been replaced with ranked sets which are first to three wins that is so awesome now you guys know that i do a little series on the channel i go online and do my ranks and then sometimes you do really good but then you make like one or two simple mistakes and your opponent beats you because of that. And then you, you're you like, I could beat that guy if I had the run back. Well, guess what, guys? Now it's first to three wins, so that's freaking awesome. Now it's not one and done anymore, boys. I'm happy about that. Player match and private match can now be selected with competitive mode on. Yes, I like that too. Sometimes you don't want to go ranked. You just want to play player matches, right? But the people that you fight, they don't want to turn on competitive mode. Or well, now there's an option for that. Player can now equip gear dropped after a match or from a mother box to that character current default loadout. Nice, nice. Gear can now be bulk selected in character's inventory screen with a simple and advanced filter. Okay, that's awesome. So, you can go to your character and then go to their gear and then bulk select their gear and then you can get rid of it. So, you don't want all the like the common gear. Now you can click like one button select all of them and just get rid of them so that's awesome it saves a lot of time and now you can get rid of those sucky gear and go grind for some better gear gear can mark as favorite which prevents it from being sold or deleted that's cool i like that fixed an issue which was preventing starfire gear ability from dropping from mother boxes and multiverse event rewards i now realize that i haven't got any starfire ability and the funny thing is today when i updated my game i did unlock one starfire ability finally so that's pretty cool <laughs> all right i uh did not notice that until now so that's a good fix completion requirements have been reduced for all guild multiverse tiers Nice, makes it easier for us to unlock gear, I like that. AI loadouts can now be used in guild multiverse events. Oh, nice! So you guys know about that trick where you can make your AIs uh, fight the battles for you? Now you can do that for the guild multiverse mode. Yes! Yes! Okay, now we got the stage specific fixes. We got Arkham Asylum fix from the toilet interaction. Having a displaced hit region. Atlantis bug fix for interrupting wall run. Batcave fixed a bug causing the hit region of the motorcycle interaction. Batcave fix for the rare situation where players could use a toilet move to be outside the boundaries of the stage. Huh. Funny enough, I don't think I've had any of these problems when playing. Maybe the motorcycle one? Alright, now we got to the character specific fixes. Oh goodness. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to read probably the characters that I mostly use. So, starting off with Aquaman. Fixed a bug causing combo damage scaling on Trident Scoop and Trident Scoop Meter Burn to be larger than expected. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but does that mean that Aquaman does more damage now because the damage scaling was messed up? Okay. Okay, I'm happy about that. Fix the rare issue that causes Aquaman's trident to be misaligned after hitting an opponent with deep sea. I never had that issue, so that's fine. Atrocitus. Fixed a rare bug that could cause Brute Slam to have a longer than normal recovery when hitting Flash while he has speed zone character power activated. Okay, it's a rare bug, so I never had that problem. And it's only happening to Flash. We got a little Beetle Prime. Fix issue with hit regions while character power is active if you attack immediately following a roll escape. Oh, we got Joker. Rolling gas can no longer be meter burn after it is destroyed by things such as Sub-Zero's Ice Clone, Captain Code's Death Circle, Meter Burn, which would result in Wastes Super Meter. Red Hood, Lethal Lunge, Meter Burn, while hidden explosive gear ability is equipped, now does 8 less base damage. So that got nerfed. A Kimbo Blaze and a Kimbo Blaze Meter Burn ability does 3 less base damage. So, from what I'm getting here, Red Hood got nerfed. Great. Just what he needed. I'm joking, by the way. Holy crap. Look at all Starfire's 
nerves, fixes, I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, wait, no, they're sub-zero. They didn't space it. But man, that is still a lot. All right, let's start off here. Starfire. We got reduce the base damage of my little bum graph. Okay, I can barely read English, so this is this is going to kill me. Gri what? Grish Grishnik got your tongue and call your carv Knarvka by one. Okay, so she got a little bit of nerf for her combos there. Reduce the base damage of Star Strike. Okay, another nerf. Uh, it got reduced by two. Increase combo damage scaling when canceling into Star Bolt character power. Okay, so now it does less damage. Man, she's getting nerfed. Burning Desire and Shooting Star base damage reduced by one. Oh my goodness. Reduce base damage of Star Dust by two and Star Dust meter burn by one. Oh my god, everything is just like getting nerfed. Tamaraining Charge is now airborne on frame four. Don't know what that means. Star Slam gear ability can now be directed close. I don't have that ability, so I can't say much about that. Fix some hair clipping issues. We got Supergirl. We got Superman. Oh, we got Swamp Thing, though. Swamp Thing increased base damage. Okay, you got a little buff on several special moves by one to compensate for them being now being correctly adjusted by the ability stats. Long story short, he got a buff. Surprisingly, it doesn't say that he can fly now. So I'm guessing because they're not talking about it, it must be an ability piece that you have to unlock for Swamp Thing interesting but that's a little brief overview of what's in the newest patch update for injustice 2 the september update there are people telling me that oh i just checked and it says black mantis in the game he is in the game technically but you can't play as him yet they did that for starfire and sub-zero and red hood they're just getting ready for the black mantle release but he's not gonna be out for maybe another week or so i'm guessing they're gonna do like a watchtower maybe this week maybe next week and then he will be released the following week is what i'm predicting but let me know what you guys think about the newest update for in just a two is there anything that's big in this update that i miss feel free to let me know down below i know they added some new gear and some new shaders like captain cold i saw that he has a heat wave shader now it's not a premiere skin you can't play as heat wave but you can play as a color scheme of heat wave so that's pretty cool i hope you guys enjoyed another in just a two video if you guys did give the video a thumbs up if you guys want to read the full patch notes i'll link it down below subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet my name is on cage games and you just got caged